right, everything looks good, I think. So welcome to session two of Star Tropics. Um, suddenly it gets dark and the stormy on the ocean, the sea tosses the subsea. So, I believe from here on out, well, I can pretty much guarantee from here on out. Oh, my poor sub. Don't I need that? There must be a way to fix it. It seems kind of out of reach out there, though. Um. Right, from here on out, I'm pretty much blind. The only thing I, re I remember from the third dungeon is that... Uh, there's like ghosts that are invisible and I have to use like an item to make them appear and I remember that being like a really annoying feature so and that's literally all I know for the rest of the game because I haven't even I never even beat the third dungeon so and I don't remember what's going on on this island so yeah so this is a blind playthrough from here on out pretty much you look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. You drink it and feel much better. Go to Miracola and find help for your rich ship. Well. Uh. Why is everything named after a cola here? Like, I, I mean. It. I'm not criticizing the name thing. I just I just feel like there's a pun that I'm missing like and it, If I look like I'm going in random places. It's just because I'm looking for secret oh, Secret tunnels that could get me a heart. Oh I'm already in the third dungeon. Maybe Are there two dungeons on this island because I'm pretty sure maybe I did get past the third island I do not. Ooh, are those dodo birds? Or they're like those. Oh, what do you call. Nah, I think they're dodos. I was gonna compare them to those parrots that walk on the ground and are super endangered. Uh, I think they're in New Zealand. I don't know what they're called. They're really. They're green and look kind of look like they're covered in vegetation or something. What's that, a bolus snare? Uh, let's see what it does. Okay, it's a long range projectile, even better than the torches. I'm going to assume I need these for the boss, so I'm gonna try not to use them. Winged monkeys? I'm just gonna sit here and let them come to me. Uh, they seem to be like the the uh, Octorok guys in that they just kind of move at random and not actively targeting me. They're a lot quicker though. They're basically the same enemy but faster. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on you bastards, come near me. I don't want to leave myself open. There we go. Come on. No, 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 no. I knew I shouldn't have took left my back for off the wall, but I needed I need to be a little bit proactive or this you know these sessions are gonna go forever. Um I'm probably safer yeah, doing it here. Oh more bolus snares. Um, can I, interesting, wait, did they, well, this is not working out as well as I would like, there, yeah, I did something a little less stupid. All right, so is this, I'm, I'm guessing this is like a mini cave and not a full level. So I'm not sure if this area is gonna have a boss. 
I don't appear to have any potions. Oh, heck. I think I see what to do here. Go that way, that way, that way. Nice. I don't think I need that many hearts, but it's nice to know that I discovered that. I just assumed I wouldn't have enough time to get- what the hell are those? Ostriches with skulls, I guess? Um, they just seem to be tougher versions of the parrots that can jump over the water. I guess it's not- not a big deal. I think they damage me a bit more, but then again, I don't know if I've even been hit by a parrot yet. Weird that they- oh wait, I'm calling them parrots. They're dodos. They're obviously dodos. Oh! That's okay, as long as I... Uh, okay. Is that... Do dungeons have multiple layers, or does this go to the outside? Oh. Um. Huh? I can't go back in. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? So that stairwell was a troll? It was just trolling me? Ah, uh, and I don't even get to keep my bowl of snares that I picked up. Well, well done game. I Wait, so you can't keep your island, I mean your items between uh, caves? You can only use them in the cave you get them in? That's interesting, I guess. Does mean there's no point in saving them though. Like if you have if you get an item, you might as well use it in the dungeon you get it in. Ugh. This tile-based moving system works against me sometimes. It does make certain things easier. Like cornering enemies, for example. Like, it makes it much easier to predict where they're gonna go and where a safe place is for me to stand and annihilate them but like sometimes I just get stuck on air spots where I can't really move come on you mm. what's is with all these winged creatures in this world that can't actually fly it's like first dodos and now winged monkeys Come on, you winged freak. Oh, that was impolite. I shouldn't have called you a freak. Wonder how the wings operate on these guys anyways. Alright. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that because now I gotta deal with Mushroom Snake. Ah, well, that wasn't so hard. Okay, if I go forward one and then immediately jump. Nope, that didn't work. Well, I did that, anyways. Uh, is the next room the one that I could get hearts in? I sure hope it is. Sure is grassy inside this cave. Like, how, how's this... The cave getting light for all this grass to grow on the ground? Yep, bop. Nice. Uh, alright. Let's see if this is any more effective. 
No, 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 you... Oh, these guys seem to act actually actively track me down, unlike other enemies. Uh, or not? Maybe it's... They go back and forth between targeting me and not targeting me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was just... Oh, come on, I didn't mean to step forward there. Some bitch. Uh, is this like supposed to be like an arrow pointing up? I have no way to like blow my way through walls. Alright, gotta take these guys out for safety's sake first. Alright, so if I find the path there should be, if this is the upturn, then it should be safe to jump here. Here. Nothing, okay. Uh, okay. So here, here, here. Nice. Nah, no hearts or anything. Shoot, I hope I hit some sort of checkpoint. By the way, I have three lives again, even though I don't think I've gotten any sort of one up. So do you start each island with three lives, or do I, do I get three lives because I reloaded the game? Either way, it looks like I was right about this being a mini cave. Wow, you done it! Good luck. Hey, Tubbo. These guys sure have some colorful garments for being, like, uh, well. Welcome to Miracola. I was gonna say for being, like, I, I, savages or something, I don't know. I didn't want to use that word, but I couldn't think of a better one to describe what I was saying. Uh, natives. Natives, that's what I was trying to say. Wait, natives isn't even a fair word, though, because native just means, you know, you originate from that area. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're less cultured or anything. Like, I could say I'm native to the United States because I was born here or whatnot. Is that true? I, I mean, I'm not a Native American. Uh, jeez. No, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, political correctness. I'm getting all confused by it now. You look tired. Here, help drink some coconut milk. Like, if you say you're a U.S. native, I think, like, most people think of Native Americans, but I was born here, so I am technically a native. Ah, uh, I don't know how it works. A nice spiky hat, dude. Who are you? Stay away from here! Okay. Uh, is there another secret way into this hut? This hut is freaking huge. Also, am I looking at a wall or am I looking at this hut from directly above? And I think I'm looking at a, the hut from directly above. Like, there's no angle to this. Which makes the fact that we're seeing characters from the side really weird. Because we should be seeing the side of buildings then. Uh, all right. Hmm, this guy looks kind of sad. What's what's eating you, bro? Do you know about the castle of Shikola? Better not to go there. Okay. Uh, I do not know about it, so I guess that's not really a problem. Oh, another spiky hair dude. He looks like he's wearing a helmet with spikes on it. Mm. Uh, 
jeez, uh, you guys really need to mow the lawn over here. Uh, so do you just not have a roof? Is that what's going on here? You just built some walls around yourself and threw a stool there? I'm so worried. Bananette has been sick for so long. Who's Bananette? Are you Bananette? Hi, I'm a brave sailor too. Can I go with you? You almost died at sea. Um, er, uh, I'm getting seasick. I better stay here. Okay. I wasn't really going to invite you along anyways, but good to know I don't have to make excuses. Where do you come from, Americola? Who's Bennett? Is there someone I didn't talk to in this town? I, these are all the NPCs I see. Are you Bennett? I'm Miss Mira 1990. Have you met Miss Coral? Which of us is the best? Um, I guess I'll say you because you might give me something or something. You're so honest and cute too. Nope. Did I talk to you? Mm, our chief loves his daughter very much, but alas, she is very sick. Is that Bennett? Okay. And the chief's house has got to be that great big one, right? How do I... Uh, will you let me in your house now that I talk to everybody in town? What? Why? You didn't even give me a reason. Whatever. I'm just hanging out. He's the chief of Miracola. Okay. Ah, nice poncho, dude. I'm Chief Miracola, Mike. I've heard of your courageous adventure, where you wander around killing helpless animals. Please, can you help me? One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky, and suddenly, dreadful lightning flashed. Mm-hmm, since that night, my dear Bananette has slept and will not awake. I think a meteor struck her in the head. Please help my daughter, she is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives. Who has healing spells? Wait. Some say a mountain hermit lives. Who has... You just... you. Some say he just exists. Not like where he exists or something. Like mountain... Shouldn't it say like some say a hermit lives in the mountain? Ah, uh, never mind. It's just a weird sentence. You must find him. Please help my daughter and I'll fix your wrecked ship. Okay, so I'm guessing these guys aren't as, uh, I really wish I could think of a better word. Not natives, not savages, jeez, what's a good word to describe these guys? It just, like, just someone in a culture where technology isn't really existent they still lives in shacks and stuff while during while everybody else is in the modern world like what is the term for that uh, I can't think of one um all right can I go through this guy now it's like I'm really I'm not trying to be racist or anything I'm I literally just can't think of the right right vocabulary word for what I'm trying to say please visit Bananette once uh, I didn't see a way to get to her I know someone's gonna hold that against me like Uh, there was like an entrance back here there it is okay mm, but then it's just sick in bed oh your mic oh I that is a very pink bed sheet so anyways what I was trying to say is these guys don't seem to be as uncultured or whatever as I previously thought Unculture is not the right word either because they have their own culture. It's just, uh, 
see, I can't even properly explain what I want to say because I can't think of the right words to say it. It's just not uncivilized uh behind the times it's something to that effect but like they have like modern clothes and they have dyes apparently because they can dye this bed pink so like maybe they aren't, aren't, aren't it's behind the times as i was giving them credit for maybe they're maybe they are just uh you know choosing to live a simple lifestyle and i'm being a racist for assuming that they're like backwater heathens i mean i don't not me i'm so worried bananet has been sick for so long zz okay that's it i just had to listen to her snore Ugh. This is annoyingly meticulous. Oh, brother. Good luck.